Hello, hello, hello to all of my Geminis. Happy Motivational Monday to each and every one of you all, Geminis. Hopefully, you are having a great weekend. Where, wherever you are, hopefully you're setting your intentions to have a great day every day or whatever adjective you use to describe your day. And hopefully you are being true to that. Let's get into your general reading. I'm talking to you if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart. So that means I'm talking to me. E -e -e. So yes, that means I'm talking to myself because I definitely have Gemini in my chart as well. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what your cards have to say. And let's see how you can, you know, make sure you're landing on the bright side of the moon in Leo. I gave everybody questions on Sunday's readings. Um, every Sunday, there are questions to help you get through the week, um, especially if you have to return back into an office setting or online or, you know, a stressful situation. We never know what people are going through. So just in case, I always have questions that help you to stay grounded. So you're saying, OK, no matter what kind of chaos is going on around me. I am committed to landing on the bright side of the moon. So here we have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the uh, Five of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and also the Queen of Wands, and then also the um, Strength card. So Source really, really wants you to keep your pride, your arrogance. See how this person is kind of like, you know, kind of standing next to their lion. And when you think about lion, you think about pride, like you know, you can be very proud of how far you've come in your journey, you know, learning how to control your emotions about things. But Source is saying to you, not controlling your emotions will keep you locked outside of vault, um, you know, locked outside of things, feeling like you're left out of things will actually add, cause you to feel even more frustrated. So somebody has definitely been working on their emotions and also listening to source. Remember your ruling planet, uh, Mercury is currently retrograde. It's actually yours in Virgos. It's retrograde right now, which is a great thing because it gives you an opportunity to slow down and see what messages God is trying to send to you. And so somebody's definitely been working on their their joy, their um, creativity. Somebody has been working on their sacral chakra and also clean, using that water to clean off your root chakra to find out if there's any cracks in your foundation, any insecurities, any instabilities, anything that would prevent you from opening up your vault door. A vault door represents whatever you want it to represent. For one person, a vault door could represent and I'm saying this only because this is a general reading. So take only what resonates with you. A vault door for somebody behind somebody's vault door can represent a family. Behind another person's vault door, it can represent a lot of money. Behind somebody else's vault door, it can mean legacy, you know, answers to your legacy. What is, what is your legacy? What is your purpose? So only you know what lies behind your vault door. Here we have the Queen of Wands. And so I see somebody feeling happy, charismatic, and free. Because you're focusing on not the past, you know, you, you're focusing on healing your shadow self, right? But also you're focusing on moving on from something. You're focusing on moving on from something that, like I said before, could have affected your money, could have affected your, uh, your root chakra, stability, security, all of those things. Six of Wands, we have the Four of Wands, we also have the Ace of Coins, the Three of Swords, the Hierophant card, and also the Page of Wands. So Source is saying higher fun. There could be a Taurus somewhere in the, um, either a Taurus or somebody could have been very stubborn, you know, with moving on. Or you could have Taurus in your chart. You could have been very stubborn and moving on from something. Here we have the Ace of Coins. Again, you've been working very hard to open up your vault door and, you know, even moving beyond something with a broken heart. See these three swords right here? Deep disappointment, broken heart. Source is saying, I see you. I see you. I'm rewarding your efforts. And so congratulations for, this is the Six of Wands, congratulations for being victorious at, like I said before, getting on your horse. we got the Knight of Pentacles and also the Knight of Cups working very hard on your emotions and getting back on your throne to maintain that being very positive, happy, charismatic, and free self that you are. Somebody has definitely been getting their rest. So this is, again, healing. Focusing on getting your rest and healing. We also have the Page of Wands. And so Source is really trying to cook up something new for you to help you open up your vault door so that anything that you left behind you, if any, if there was anybody in your life who wanted to connect with you for you know, any gold digging activity or people trying to connect to you for what they can get from you or um, any, any 
gold digging is not just it's not gender specific it could be anybody it could have been employees that were kissing up to you it could have been friends that were staying connected to you for what they because of what associations you had with other people whatever it was source is saying to you somebody's been working real hard on their emotions and not letting that fire out like blow torching like you're a very smart sign and like really working on not blow torching people with your words saying something hurtful or you know coming across is just you know really really um um angry or hurt right so we have the temperance card so the temperance card lets me know that somebody who transitioned here we have the temperance and the death card you have a guardian angel watching over you letting you know <clears throat> excuse me that you can do this you know to tap into your strength you should be very proud of how far you've come on your journey of controlling your water which means your emotions controlling your creativity controlling your joy controlling your wide range of healthy emotions just stay they're saying to you gemini stay in your light stay in your purpose they're saying stay strong because that's where the healing is the healing is in your purpose right so here we have the nine of wands but somebody is definitely on the other side of a long and arduous journey of you know now you're more knowledgeable you're wiser because of some things you see things a lot clearer and so source is saying you be committed to not stepping down off of your throne. Get your rest whenever you feel like you've given a lot of extra thought or air. That's what we're talking about, air or power, or you're giving life to something. Source is like you're in the perfect position. Wherever you are, somebody's in a leadership position, you're in a perfect position. And again, uh, source is just saying to you, just, just, you know, like I said, you, you've moved on from something and you're moving on from something and source is saying you're learning just how to control your emotions you know like i said something has um remember time is relative and because you've been putting in the hard work source is saying to you you know you put in the hard work you're continuing to invest in yourself you got you know remember the first income is incoming information from source so whatever source was trying to what messages source was trying to send you if you had a lot of stressors around you at the time, none of it would have made sense. When, when, when do I, I need a time frame? I need something to, you know, show for whatever time is relative. So it happens whenever you're ready to release something. So you got to make room for your blessings coming your way. So if you're holding on to anger, frustration, you know, whatever it is, any kind of confusion, taking up the space. So emotions are running high. Emotions are running high. That's what Source is saying. Your emotions are running high, but those emotions are also meaning your creativity is also running high too, right? So that's what you want to focus on. You want to focus on the only reason your emotions are running high is because we had a we had a uh, new moon in Aries, which is a fire sign. So it's further putting air up under you know your 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 I'm putting fire you know to your air, and then we're coming up on a first quarter moon in Leo. So Source is saying. Keep your lion at bay, meaning the pride, the ego, the arrogance about something like sources saying control your emotions when it comes because it may be some things that you're proud of accomplishing. You may have accomplished school and accomplished a lot of things, but it can also hurt you in the long run when there are other people who work just as hard. They may not have the same earthly credentials that you have, but again, they work just as hard. Right. So here we have connect to your ancestors connect with your ancestors excuse me yeah connect with your ancestors because those are the people who worked hard for you to get to where you are they put in the hours they went to school they you know they sacrificed and so source is saying to you you don't want to ruin it because you can't control your emotions and that's what this knight of cups is it's like only person that's coming to save you is you and see this cup right here this person is not galloping off water flying everywhere water would be your emotions your creativity somebody is real steady when it comes to their emotions even if that thing wants to the pride or arrogance wants to rise up in your spirit you just like this let me stand next to this let me make sure i get i keep this thing under submission I'm not trying to, because you can use that fire to actually inspire people because all of it's fire. You can use that fire to inspire people, to oh, give people hope, to help them find the light within themselves. That's what you can use the fire for. So here we have three. I am charismatic. Expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. 
you are able to get others on board with your ideas. Number three. So somebody is definitely optimistically moving forward, you know, after, you know, leaving something behind, working on your shadow self. So congratulations. Again, emotions are running high. It also means that your creativity is running high. Your joy is running high. You know, keep that lion at bay, you know, that ego and all of that. Use your fire for, you know, use your fire wisely. Here we have affirmations for kindness. I am full of loving kindness. I am full of goodwill toward those around me. I am surrounded by warmth. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I am grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile could make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. That is what I have for you, Geminis. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you all on Midweek Wednesday. Bye.